If you use braid to either a floral or mono leader, then no doubt you are constantly trying to figure out what is the best knot. Hi there, welcome to The Bass Fishing Life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers. Well, today we are going to be going over a knot that I really, really like. In other videos, I've talked about using an Albright knot to go from braid to either a floral or mono leader, but I've got another one I'd like to go over today, and I think it's quickly become my new favorite knot, and that is the red Phillips knot. And you may ask yourself, well, why is this your new favorite? One, it's very fast. With just a little bit of practice, you can tie this knot so incredibly quick. It is extremely strong and it is easy to tie. You don't feel like you have to have 14 different arms coming out of all different crazy parts of your body to hold this and to hold that. And it's just something that's very simple to tie. And for those of us that are getting a little bit older, you don't necessarily need to have a pair of these in the boat to see what you're doing. So this is a major selling uh, point for the Red Phillips knot as well. So let's go ahead and go through it here. So first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab some leader, whatever you want to use. And I'm gonna take about a full arm's length and I'm gonna go ahead and then snip that off. So I've got my leader material right here. So here's the first part of this knot. Go ahead and tie a half hitch and then pull it down just a little bit. That's it. Tie a half hitch, pull it down so you've got a loop. Next thing that you're going to want to do is take your braid, your mainline braid, and put it through that loop. Just stick it through that loop, pull eight, nine, 10, 12 inches, whatever, and then take that leader material, that half hitch, and pull it down. Now, don't cinch it super tight. Just go ahead and pull it down snug. Now, you've got this, this leader material with a half hitch. You put your mainline braid through it, and then pull that half hitch down, and now you have got the tag end of your leader material and then you have also got your mainline braid here and then the rest of your leader material so what you're going to want to do is grab both pieces of that leader and the tag on your braid and put them all in in one hand like this and then i put this hand covering that half hitch knot. So I've got three pieces of line over here. The tag end of the leader, the rest of the leader, and then my braid that I, go, that I went and put through that loop. Go ahead and take that braid, make a loop back, and then hold all three pieces up here as well as the loop of your braid. And what we're gonna do now is just do a simple uni, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that braid, wrap it around seven times. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm gonna hold that tag of the braid and find the main line of the braid, wet it, and then just pull it down. Now you have got right here that original half hitch and then the rest of your knot. You're gonna go ahead and pull these together gently until they come down. And that just slid down so nicely. And then go ahead and snug it and find your tag ends. I am notorious for cutting the wrong parts of the line Find your tag ends, put them off on one side, and go ahead and snip them off. And you can snip them off very tight and clean. And right there, you can see how small that knot is. It is exceptionally strong. You, 
really pull on that thing and it's such a small knot it goes through the eyes of the rod really nicely even through the micro guides so this is the red phillips knot it is my new favorite knot because it is so fast you can even see how quickly it went here and i was going slow to demonstrate it it does not take long to master this particular knot so i hope this helps you out when you're out there on the water the wind's blowing the boat's rocking that you can put on a piece of leader material quickly and get back to your fishing day and have trust in the knot so i hope that this helps you out hey make sure that you go out and encourage someone today you never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life i'm your host steve rogers